It's amazing how we got all this furniture built and put in here. All the decorations. It's truly a miracle. I think hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, dinner was good. I'm glad you could accompany me here to the Dragonborn Gallery. But since we're here, we might as well do a little bit more work for Orion. I think we've uh, gotten close to 200 displays. Let me, let me just check this book. I'm supposed to be carrying this with me and I just never have. This curator's guide. Alright, the Curator's Guide is the complete guide to the Dragonborn Gallery. It contains lots of useful tips about the museum displays, mechanics, quests, and more. You can also use the guide to instantly move to any room in the museum, locate Orion, and keep track of your total display count. A new location can now be reached using the Curator's Guide. just want to read it so how come the the display isn't updated oh here we go so we got 203 it's even better all right so there's something up in the dragonborn gallery that orion had uh, mentioned some sort of a secret quest see if I can figure out what he was talking about um Omar all right well hopefully you'll catch up if not I'll just do this on my own and by the way Everything is going to be a lot more difficult now, or maybe just a little. I think I was handling my business at Master, but now I'm going legendary. All right, here we are, Dragonborn Hall. And there you are. Thank you for catching up. All right, so somewhere in this hall along one of these staircases is a, a button I guess we since nobody knows who the dragonborn is there's no um displays or anything in here so let's see here there's no button there ah here we go uh oh So, what is this? Hmm. The Hall of Secrets. Alright, I see you up there sitting up there resting your feet. I'm going on ahead. Oh. Oh, he really didn't come. So, I wonder what secrets are down here. I don't know, I'm starting to get a bad feeling about this. It's well lit. Uh oh. Uh, a spider web.
Whoa. Oh, it's you. So, I guess we gotta talk to Orion about this. of the poison that I threw. It makes me feel special being a master alchemist. Alright, so I guess we gotta go find him. Orion's research notes indicate that the drag... No, 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 no. That's the wrong one. <laughs> wrong note. I found a secret passage under the floor of the Dragonborn Hall which leads to a very dusty, abandoned secret room. What in the world is this place and why is it here? Surely, Orion must know about it. Alright, well. I guess there's no quick way to get back to Orion. Well, I'm glad that uh, I didn't end up uh, being ambushed by monsters. Huh? Yeah, let's see if we can find Orion. I hope he's around. What's the story with the hidden room under the Dragonborn Hall? Oh, the Hall of Secrets. Yes. I had all but forgotten about it, to be honest. When we broke ground on the foundation of the museum expansion, we accidentally broke through into a sealed-off chamber that was built under the Pelagius Wing of the Blue Palace. When I asked them about it, it apparently used to be some sort of panic room for Pelagius when he was in one of his more violent manic episodes. They sealed it off long before the rest of the wing and forgot all about it. I asked for permission to use the room as a bit of a secret storage vault in case Solitude was ever invaded. I would store the relics there and lock down the museum. They gave permission and I had the tunnel finished and access in the hall made. And could I use it as a private display space away from prying eyes? Hmm, certainly. I suppose if you are ever in need of a place to store items of a more questionable nature, that room would be ideal. I'll go ahead and outfit it for you, but I'll take a nobody asks, nobody tells approach to it, and you do with the room as you like. And I won't plan on taking any tours down there either. <laughs> I should have it all cleaned up for you by tomorrow. All right. Well, I guess we haven't talked in a while. Can, can you tell me about this new god that we have, named Avram? Well, he seems like a very forthcoming fellow. There's more to him beneath the surface like anyone, but he strikes me as a genuine person who wants to work hard at something that matters. A genuine person, huh? Well, do you think he can be trusted? Of course. I wouldn't have hired him otherwise. Fear not, my friend. I am an excellent judge of character, and Avram seems quite sincere. There is clearly more there to know, but it will come out in time, I'm sure, when he's ready. Alright. And where should I put up displays? Well, here in the Hall of Heroes is where you should place any artifact of magical or historical nature. The Daedra Gallery, of course, is where anything related to the Daedra should go. And the Hall of Lost Empires is where you should display any and all items of Dwemer or Falma nature. The armories you can display as you see fit. Lastly, the Gallery of Natural Science. 
If you bring some samples of flora and fauna, you can build fauna displays and plant the flora. So what's the story with the sword in the office? Ah yes, that would be my personal sword. Idrasorn, meaning ancestral edge. What? Don't picture me as the swashbuckling type? <laughs> Not really. I assure you I am just as capable with the blade as I am with the book. I just don't often find much call to employ the former. And so it remains in a place of honor and remembrance for me. All right, so what's next? Very simple. You keep doing what you're doing and stop in here from time to time if you find anything interesting. Have a look around and find a spot to display it. In addition to displaying the spoils of your adventures, I will commission and build exhibits based on those exploits. Anything of relevant consequence can be inspiring to the people. So was there anything new happening? Ah yes, indeed. I wanted to discuss a proposal I have for you regarding the museum and your profession as a relic hunter. There have been many people inquiring about potential work here as of late, spurred on by your success, as it were. But I feel that many of them may have potential to assist us in uncovering more relics and lore. My idea was that we could form a guild such as here at the museum. Call it the Explorer's Society, and members could combine their efforts and collaborate to investigate more ruins, uncover more legends and lost lore. The fruits of any labor sponsored by the guild would be displayed here. This could take some of the workload off of you and provide a new source of people and information that you could utilize on larger ventures. What do you think? Well, it sounds like a good idea, as I... It's kind of hard for me in between running Zamora's alchemy shop and looking for relics and stuff. It's kind of hard, so this sounds like a great idea. Fantastic! I'm very excited about getting underway. I would say that perhaps the best arrangement would be to have you as Guildmaster. Really? And I would take the role of Chief Librarian to gather the collective knowledge which would also help benefit the museum and allow me to continue my work here while still aiding the growing guild. I would start with writing the guild charter for your approval while you could start with the construction of the guild house. I've already drawn up plans for an addition to be built attached to the back end of the reception hall. It will require some considerable revision to part of the city wall, which I have already gotten permission for from the Blue Palace. I envisioned the Guildhouse having a grand view of Skyrim, which could be both logistically beneficial and awe-inspiring at the same time. Once the building is completed, you could undertake recruiting new members, and I could direct possible applicants to you as well. I'll start work right away, and have a workbench set up out back for you to start on the Guildhouse. I've also made arrangements for Hurin at the mill outside Solitude to sell you some lumber at a discount. All right. As if I didn't have enough to do. Okay, so where are we with this chamber of secrets? I believe we need to come back and talk to him tomorrow. So I'm going to go and spend the night in the uh, safe house. Come on. Omar. Well, anyway, you don't have to follow me. I'm sorry. You're a grown man. I'm going upstairs to the safe house and get a good night's sleep. Hopefully, I'll see you in the morning. you to get tested thinking that I'm just ordering you around. I mean, please feel free to do whatever it is you need to do. And while I'm here, I think I have some cards I can get rid of, I think. Let's see. Yeah, not many. 
All right, let's get some sleep. Maybe I should just uh, sleep the day away and give Orion enough time. I don't know if eight hours was enough. of the day are huh, drains charge that's that's pretty potent and fire resistance don't really need that let me concentrate here meditate I believe I finally broke finally made it mastered it and of course I want this perfect touch can pickpocket equipped items and there we go thank you Xenathar alright so I guess I can go and look at this room, but I thought there was some sort of a quest. Anyway, let's go. There was going to be something mysterious down here. Oh, wow. Look what he did. Look. All oh, these display cases. What is this? Vampire hands. What? What? Oh. All right. Not sure what this area would be for. Guild Master Armor. Huh. Oh, he moved my... The stuff that I got from the Thieves Guild. So what's... Oh, this is Black God's armor. Hmm, the bust of the Gray Fox. See, I think I sold this stuff already. Nightingale sword and bow. Hmm, I guess I should have found this area earlier. I have no idea who Habd is. Arvac skull. Ancient traveler's skull. Mm. Colbjorn skull. Glen Moro witch head. Potamus skull. See, I think it's too late. I think we. I gave um. 
Potamus skull to Stia. And he, um, what is it, consecrated it, burned it, and Pelagius hip bones. See, a lot of these things I'm not even going to be able to put down here. The crown of Baron's eye. Huh? Like I'm ever going to find them. Was it 24 of them things? Oh, look at here. Queen Bee statue. The eyes of the farmer. Now see. Well, I gave um, Maramal the, the money for one of the eyes. So it's all right that, I, that both of them are here. The skull of Nafi. Skull. What? So, these sound like, um, what you call them, mocks or something from the, the Dark Brotherhood if I had sided with them. So all the people that I would have to kill and place their skulls there. Hmm. Shrouded armor. Oh, so this is a mannequin I could just put stuff on. The robes of Emperor Titus Mede II. At least that's how they said they pronounced it. All right. Oh, I just noticed the Dark Brotherhood hand up there. Well, the Dark Brotherhood was destroyed, so there's no need for any of this. Death at a wedding. Hmm. So that's it. I guess there is no secret hidden quest in here. Just a, a storage area for questionable items. And I do agree with them being questionable. Having people's skulls down here on display. It's, you know, I'm, I'm just not that type of person. Alright, Omar, I'm going out. Alright, and he also wants us to, um, work on a guild house for the Explorer Society. Let's just, uh, let me go outside and take a look at what he's talking about. building materials though so what do I need I need some logs and nails well all right I guess we got our work cut out for us then come on let's go well all right here we go foundation has been laid now I need to find some quarried stone all right come on let's go all right here we are in Riverwood try to find some quarried stone now believe that there was some behind Feindall's house. Apparently not, though. 
you know, why do I listen to these ridiculous rumors? Wait, here it is. Here it is, Quarried Stone. Hopefully this is enough for now. All right, Omar. I don't know if you went back to the house or not, but anyway, I'm headed back to the Dragonborn Gallery. All right, here's the frame. those who depend on you so much and now I need to find some clay seem to be mining any clay. Hold on here. There's no clay. There we go. That should be enough. I 
think there was probably clay closer, but I decided to come here to Iverstead to get some. All right, it's back to solitude now. it we have a new guild house I think it's time to let Orion know Orion how can I help The guild house is complete. Ah, wonderful. You work quickly, my friend. So do you. Come, let's have a look, and then I'll show you what I have come up with for the charter. All right. Oh, you want to follow me, okay. So, yeah, here's the new door to the guild house. Amazing. Simply amazing, my friend. Isn't and it? You truly are quite the craftsman, I must say. Yeah. Yes, this will do quite nicely, I think. Plenty of space, a good number of beds, plies. Yes, you seem to have covered all the basics very well. Now let's discuss the charter. It's amazing how we got all this furniture built and put in here. All the decorations. It's truly a miracle. I think you'll find it acceptable. The laws of the Charter are thus. All knowledge gathered by the Guild is to be shared freely, with credit going to those who discovered it and provided it to the Guild. The Guild will fund expeditions, paying wages to members based on their rank, and any items of significance uncovered during the expedition will be at the discretion of the Guildmaster and Chief Librarian as to their importance and if they should be displayed in the museum. Other spoils will be sold and the funds distributed to the guild and members of the expedition. The guild will also maintain a quarter office, where an appointed quartermaster will acquire and make available for purchase at a discount supplies for members and expeditions. So, how does that sound to you? Um, perfect. I have no, no complaints or arguments about it. Good, good. Well, then I think we can start spreading the word and gathering possible members. Here is some contact information for your potential candidates that came by previously. You should check into these and I'll keep my ear open. And in the meantime, if you need me, I'll be at the museum. Let me know if you need anything. I'll let you know if anything develops on my end. Oh, my friend, I have some exciting news for you. Oh, really? What? Oh, my friend, I have some exciting news for you. Okay. I was contacted by a relic collector in the province of Elsewhere who is in possession of the staff of Indaris. He has offered to donate the staff to the museum for safekeeping. With all of the struggles occurring there as of late with Thalmor occupation and the local resistance, he worries that the staff could fall into the hands of the Thalmor, and it appears as if he's just arrived. Could you meet him in the back of the guild? <laughs> You will see for yourself. The site is quite worthwhile, believe me. Um, sure. I'll head out there now. Do send him my regards. Alright, well, let's go. Kishit knows that smell. You are a colleague of Orion, no? Um, yes. And... I see that you have arrived in style. The airship. Ah, a fine prize in our growing victories against the Thalmor. We call her the Devaveza. 
Elsewhere has great troubles. During the First Dominion, Elsewhere was a protectorate of the Algmiri Dominion, a reluctant ally, if you will. And now that the Dominion has risen once more, it seeks to bring Elsewhere under its thumb once again. There are those of us who would not have this. So Rakis happens upon this relic a number No, there's somebody here. Years ago. Brings it into his safekeeping. But well spread swiftly on the worn wings of elsewhere. Is that all you've got? Where'd he go? Get him. How's was this? That's impossible. Phew. That was close. You saved Rekis from that sneaky Thalmor. Rekis owes you his life. He wishes he had something of value to give you for saving him. The Devaveza. Yes, Rekis insists. Oh, it is yours. What the, what there was is a that? manual on how to fly it inside. This one will get home by traveling the moon path to elsewhere. Farewell, friend. And may your road lead you to Worm Sands. All right, well, thank you for the staff. Now, hold on. Let's see this spy here. Huh, nothing of value. All right, we'll have to have somebody come and clean up the body. But it looks like we've got a new ship now. Thank you, Rackus. Something is going on. All right, so Dev Avesa. All right, but it looks like we have done our job for the day, and it's time for us to potentially start working on the Explorer's Guild.